misses the three. Jalen Johnson getting a lot of minutes. Second game back off the foot injury. And look at him. See his ability to take it on his own. Falling. Because <laughs> I have one. I stole one from Bubbleville. <laughs> Jalen Johnson. And here he comes. And there he goes. Uh, had just three seconds out of the timeout. Is right, rises up. We crash at the board from Usher to try to keep it alive. But Duke clears it away. You know, coming out of the locker room. And so when you force your coach to have to burn that, trying to thread the needle, couldn't do it. Jalen Johnson behind the back, four on one. And at the other end, and here come the Blue Devils once again. And a beautiful William. find right there from Jalen. Players. Now he's working on Johnson. Bradshaw spins. Walked away. Hey. Johnson. Watch this game, Reese. It's probably going to be close down the stretch. Both teams playing pretty well, but. It's a great experience for Duke to find a way to close out a game in that game. So what's there is the drive and go behind. That was a good read. On pause due to COVID. And since they've been back, part of it's been their opponents. Negotiations would have broken down in my household over the straighten up and we already got one of them. Champagne took care of that in the first turnover. It's Clayton this time on the defensive end. Johnson. The game high, 28 points. Forget about Tony on the weak side. Wow. Right. Working inside, spinning. Good close out by Kofi Cobra. Right-handed shot. Out of the bounce. The man, and one of the things we've seen from the Blue Devils over the past. 
last few games, they have implemented the zones. So interesting to see. Sumu has been pretty quiet. Yeah, very quiet. But shows they're not just one guy. Spinning, step back, jump. He has been in control from the start of this game. Jalen beats down the floor, they're giving up a lot of transition, which includes a lot of foul. His team when his team needs a basket. Last time playing extremely hard in the second half. One or two per chance. He's going to score that every time, and he's shown that, he that Chris Mack wants to see. He needs more out of Williamson and Withers. I believe the very has taken advantage of it. Ball for the Blue Devils. Jamin Brayfield is Chicago, Chicago, Illinois. DJ Stewart is the latest and greatest. America. I mean, it really is remarkable. 150. Roach with a couple of crossovers off to Johnson for three. Close that one toward Williams. Kicks it out. Johnson. And Johnson hits the. Try to pick up that Such a different run. atmosphere, of course, than these Blue Devils are used to playing in here in Cameron. Nice you give. You got to recover when the ball's in the air. And, be a and they do a good job with positioning of their help, but they certainly have to guard the ball. And Duke with another closing in on a 2020 debut gives it up here to, to progress than they had hoped. But here he is in the DJ game. Stewart. Nice job by Stewart to stay in front. Second assist of the afternoon. You know, where, where you couldn't with all the camera. got 20. Keep in mind, Duke is out of timeouts. It's right now in the standings of the ACC. I think coming into this game, Duke, the rest of the world in basketball knows what happened. And back come the Blue Devils, led by D.J. Stewart. Every category of the statue. Johnson leaning in, rejected him. That ball screen, not letting it get back into the middle, sending it to the baseline. Johnson has been in double figures in four for his entire career. Johnson switches on to him. We'll see if DeWan Clayton tries to attack that matchup. He does and draws the foul. Has 15. Inside two minutes to play. Here's Khalid Moore, he's hit the cut. Dylan Penn. Step back. That's a great. And DeVoe driving to his defense. Points off the turnovers, 12-0 in favor of the play. Good control drive. Speaking of I couldn't find a great comparison for Jalen Johnson, but I think it should be fairly easy to see the similarities here without getting too caught up in the caliber of players.
on the drive, muscles it in. Barrett drives inside. Screen from Mamba. Gordon for three. Jalen Johnson is one of the most interesting prospects in this class. He's got a unique combination of size, athleticism, and skill on both ends of the court, but he's still super raw and held back by a few flaws and injury concerns. He's a guy who has the ceiling to be much closer to that heralded top five group, but the weaknesses can be debilitating, and he's currently sort of a natural tweener. While many believe Johnson will fall further in the first round, in my opinion, his upside is too high for him to fall outside of the late teens, maybe the top 20 in the worst case scenario.